Okay. Um, Tim, um, we don't use willpower as a reliable source when it comes to achieving our goals. And uh, here is why. So if I'm using willpower, that means that I'm constantly under some kind of tension. So I'm using my body energy to suppress all these unwanted thoughts and emotions that come up when I think about my goal. Modern medicine and psychology agree that we have limited amounts of energy in our system. So um, let's say I want to um, improve my health and I'm stressed at work. I'm dealing with different kinds of problems at work by using willpower. And then, I'm com then I come home and I'm exhausted. Okay. And I should decide to go to the gym. But I can't because I'm already exhausted and I don't have strength anymore left to fight for my other goals. We don't have just one goal. We have many goals. And that simply means we have many problems. I want to perform well at work. I want to get that raise. I want to be healthy and have energy. I want to feel I'm good enough. I want to have peace and so on. And to make it even more complicated, all those goals are in conflict to one another. And to handle all this with willpower is um, very dangerous, if not impossible, as such permanent tension of the will exhausts energy and can, in the long run, negatively affect one's health. Actually, um, the will has been created for human beings to uh, overcome resistance for a short while, especially during challenges or crisis. For instance, to be able to overcome fatigue during long walks or to be able to overcome fear when faced with danger. However, using willpower to do something for longer periods in spite of an unconscious resistance produces negative results. And um, that is the reason why so many people fail on their diets or fail to overcome their addictions long term. And what is even worse, in those moments, they create even more charge. They create even more negative decisions, such as I'm a failure, I will never succeed, uh, something is wrong with me, and so on. But it's not their fault, because people carry a lot of emotional baggage they are not aware of. And it strikes me every time I hear how many people believe they are weak and incapable, which is... Um, actually pretty easy to believe in this modern world that keeps selling us unrealistic expectations and standards. But um, we keep buying those because we like knowledge. But the knowledge is here and it is our duty and our responsibility to take it and to implement it into our own lives if we want to stop all this self-inflicted suffering. So um, to handle all this with willpower won't produce good results because conflict is not eliminated it is just um, covered up okay um the same goes with motivation um joe and i know there are tons of motivational videos and courses out there that um, encourage you to take action to overcome yourself, to be a go-getter, and so on. But um, motivation is just an emotion, and um, a very capricious one, actually. Today you have it, tomorrow you don't. So it is a bad strategy to rely on the whims of our unconscious when it comes to achieving our goals. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is to remove negative reactions related to our goals so we are free to take the necessary action and we do that by applying simple and procedural techniques that you will learn on this course.